Okay, are we actually freaking working now? Does my stupid thing want to work? I hope so. Just one second, guys. My headset was... My headset mic wasn't working earlier, so just one second here. I want to see if it's working now. So just one minute here. Alright, is it working now? Hopefully it is working now. One second here. Alright, is it working? Hopefully. Alright, now it's working. Jesus, why did it not work beforehand? Oh well, it's called stupid audio for a reason anyway. Anyway, we're back now. Thank frig. Thank God. Anyway, this first match of the evening, Lance Archer, Demon for the Hybrid title after my uh, headset decided not to decide to work for a second there. Anyway, we are here now finally with audio on my end. There's nothing wrong with the game audio. It was just my freaking headset didn't want to connect. Nice counter though by Eric, but uh, a lot of matches tonight. Nine matches, so get ready for a longer show. The five championship matches, including their main event, the World Championship match, where GH3 will defend the World Championship against the winner of Iron Taylor versus Vic Cruiser, which will be later tonight. Also got a uh, six-man trios matchup between the Society and the trios champs. You have. A four-way tornado tag team match for number one tender show of tag titles. And plus Joe Kenny versus Genichiro Tenderu with a shot at the world championship also on the line at a later date. Nice moonsault there from Archer early on. Archer trying to take advantage. Archer flips him over and then averted DDT. Center Lance Archer right there. Now he's going for the claw. And he has it locked in, Lance Archer, to make Eric pass out. Eric trying to fight out that claw, and he's able to fight out. Oh, big miss for Eric. Bright says, what is with the rubbish? Bright, shut up. I mean, you are in a match tonight. You're actually in the... Uh, uh, you are in the uh, four-way tornado tag with Michael Blaze. It's kind of low by, by Eric, but these two are fighting. Blaze says that he is a TV champion. No, you're not. Oh, what a shot from Eric. Eric's on fire. Look out. Go. Oh, there's a King Kong knee drop. Bruiser Brody S-type knee drop. Here's a cover. Oh, and Archer kicked out of that knee drop. Lance Archer almost lost, but he kicked out a two of a King Kong knee drop. Lance talked about how he's a champion over in BMW. I don't want to believe that. Lance says he's a champion on Devon Show. Blaze, we don't count Devon Show. The only, the only thing that counts is horseshoe and hand grenades. Oh, gory knee crusher. There it is again. Now he just hit that move. Is that enough? No, Lance Archer again kicks out. Eric has had two of his best shots on Lance Archer, and both of them were not enough to put away Lance Archer. A King Kong knee drop and a gory knee crusher were both not enough to win him the titles. Oh, now a diving knee drop to the floor. Oh, bump into each other there. Eric throws Archer into the barricade. Archer in trouble, the counter from Lance. Lance though, oh no, choke slam on the floor. A choke slam on the floor from Lance Archer. Archer throws him back in the ring, Eric's in trouble. Lance trying to put away the young rookie here. Archer's caught though, off the ropes, duck down. Leapfrog, Eric with a Beautiful arm drag. I don't know how the hell he hits a move like that. But here's a cover from Eric to win the title. Oh, and he does it. We got a new we got a new hybrid champion. It's Eric Demon, one of the rookies of the graduating class of this year, just won a championship title. So congrats to the young man there. 
Win the hybrid championship from Lance Archer, and Archer can't believe it. Oh, wait a minute here. I'm getting some uh I'm getting some talk from my headset here that apparently the society is beating up on the Iron Taylor and Marcus backstage. Oh no. There's an attack backstage that the society is doing to Marcus and Iron Taylor. Oh no. That is not gonna Marcus is actually supposed to be going into the ring on the on the next matchup against Tory Crichton, but I don't think Marcus can get to the ring in time if he's getting attacked by the society. But I guess someone will have to answer the challenge of Corey Crichton since Marcus is getting attacked by the society here. I guess, uh, oh, it looks like Hiroshi Hashi will take the place of Marcus here. As it will be him versus Corey Crichton for Crichton's title since Marcus is, I guess he's unavailable since he's getting attacked by the society. Hache and Crichton now, since Hache is taking the place of Marcus King. And my question is, what about Taylor? Is Taylor going to be even 100% able to go to face Vic Cruiser after the attack by the Society? Of course, uh, Vic Cruiser, you got to believe he's probably paid the Society to do this tonight to make sure that he gets that win over the Iron Taylor. You know how desperate. Vic Cruiser can get in situations, and maybe that's why he's hired the Society tonight to take out a few people. Stomped in the arm there by Corey Crichton. Crichton's in control early here against Hiroshi Hashe. Counter though. Hashe, woo, driving his knee into the chest of Corey Crichton. That was brutal shot from Hiroshi Hashe. Ashe continuing the attack here on Crichton's face and head. God, I hope Taylor is at least okay to go for that last man standing matchup, despite getting attacked by the society. And that wasn't just one member of the society, it was all the members of the society. Running, Ro Ro Running Wolf, Chaz, and Kyle Hammer were the men that attacked Taylor and Marcus. And that's got to put a little bit of a damper on Taylor's plans if he wants to win that last man standing match against Vic Bruiser. Right now on the attack is Crichton. Crichton attacking that leg of Hiroshi Hashe. And Crichton get back in the ring. And Crichton here with the taunts. I mean, Crichton is one of the best to do it. Oh man though, but he just connects with a brilliant Oh, he's connected with a bulldog. We didn't see that one coming. A running forearm for the skull by Hiroshi Hashe. And now on the floor, Crichton. Oh, code breaker. Devastating code breaker from Corey Crichton. Crichton. Throwing Hashe back in. You gotta believe if Crichton's going to hit the super kick. Or go for Wonder World. No, he's going up top. Corey Crichton, top rope. Look out below. Here comes Crichton. With a, oh, he missed it. Corey misses. He went for a super kick. No one's home. Hashe, beautiful out of the corner. And Hiroshi Hashe trying to put away Crichton. Oh, high angle. A high angle suplex. The cover on Crichton, and that's not enough. A high angle suplex, and oh, famous sir. Hashe bringing the fight now to Crichton. Man, a lot of Crichton's getting drilled here, but a good counter from Crichton get, to try to get back into the match. Bang, super kick from Corey Crichton. That could be enough though. Is it gonna be enough to retain his championship title? I don't know. Corey, the cover. Oh, just barely before two, Hiroshi Hashe kicks out. And Crichton, you saw he slammed the mat in frustration. He was not happy about that three, about that two count. And now here we go. We got a striking battle between these two men in the ring, Hashe and Crichton. 
slapping and chopping the hell out of each other. Well, counter left from Corey. They're countered by Pache. These two just going at it. Pache says, come on. And a good shot from Crichton, though, but he gets chopped for his troubles. These two are just slapping and chopping the hell out of each other. Counter again from Corey, but a counter by Hoshe. Oh, and here we go. Good God, these two again teeing off. Oh. Crichton, though, stopped him. Corey, though, is blocked by Hoshe. Hoshe, off the ropes goes Crichton. Hache ducks under. Hache. Oh, and caught crying. Dragon suplex. Dragon suplex on the champ. Is that going to be enough to win the championship? No. Hache almost got it, but Crichton kicks out, but Corey's in trouble. Corey, Crichton does not want to be here, though. A now the Uranagi. Hache with the Uranagi. Here's a cover on Crichton. That's it, Hiroshi Hache. Has just got himself the Immortal Championship. He survives an all out war with Corey Crichton to win the championship. That's our second new champion already tonight in the form of Hiroshi Hashe. As he beats Corey Crichton in what was an absolute war. I mean, Corey Crichton's a little bit frustrated. I mean, there's that one super kick that landed on Hashe from Crichton. And it was a very close, almost three for Crichton. Hashe did kick out at like the last possible second. Oh, hold on. There we go, my audio was cutting out on my end. But uh, Crichton loses to Hashe. Crichton, he fought hard, he fought well, but Hashe stayed on him. They had a big exchange in the center of the ring, then Hashe drilled him with a dragon suplex. Crichton would kick out, but the Uranagi was what spelled the end for Crichton's title reign. But here we go, it's Iron Taylor. Vic Cruiser, here it is. A big match that a lot of people are waiting for, but the Iron Taylor is not going into this matchup at 100%. Taylor's been attacked, brutalized, and beaten up by the society. But will that just urge Taylor on to try to beat Vic Cruiser? Or will all that attacks by the society and everyone else, will that be enough to give Vic Cruiser a victory here against the Iron Taylor? I don't know. We don't know. The only way we know is if who walks out of tonight with the win? Will it be Taylor or will it be Cruiser? And the winner faces GX3 in our main event for the World Championship title. No, this is not for the Shockwave title. This is just for a title shot. Yeah, this is just for a, a title shot against GX3. Because this, we, we can't do that because we're not Shockwave Wrestling. But here comes the Shockwave Wrestling World Champion, the Iron Taylor. Of course, he's not defending that title tonight because A, we don't have the rights to uh, put that championship on the line. But, uh, and two, what's the sense here? But here we go, it's Taylor versus Cruiser. Taylor's been looking forward to this match forever, but Taylor's definitely going into this not at 100% due to the attacks from the society and a couple of losses that he has suffered from MSW and on here. Well, let's see tonight if Taylor can do it. Can he shut Vic Cruiser up in the last man standing matchup? Who knows? Here comes Cruiser up next. And out comes Vic Cruiser. And Vic's ready for a fight. I mean, this this match, it feels like it's been brewing for a, 
God knows how long, five, six, hell, even a year probably between these two men. And Taylor saying for Vic Cruiser getting the rain that he's a bum. Well, we have to see what Vic Cruiser thinks about that. Vic's definitely going into this matchup with better health than the Iron Taylor. He's got a little bit more of a vantage than Taylor, considering that Vic Cruiser doesn't wrestle as much as the Iron Taylor does. But here we go, it's Taylor and Cruiser. Winner faces GX3 tonight in our main event for the World Championship title. And here we go, Vic's going to start things off with a clothesline. Vic with a clothesline and throwing Taylor around the ring. Right now, Taylor's already in trouble. Vic Cruiser is all over him to start the match. That's a punch there by Cruiser. Cruiser's all over Taylor. Oh, oh, back suplex right to the apron of the ring by Vic Cruiser. Referee not counting, despite this being a last man standing matchup. And look at this, Cruiser going after that arm. I said, Taylor's bruised and beaten up already from the society, but, uh, but will that urge Taylor on to beat Cruiser? Who knows? As Taylor's thrown back into the ring already, and this has been a rough match already for Taylor. But here comes Taylor right back from the Bulldog. Iron Taylor, big time DDT. He's asking for the referee to start your count, ref. Blaze says he doesn't care who wins. Blaze, who cares about you? Right now, it's been Taylor right now. He's been fighting Vic, and look at Taylor. Taylor beating up on Cruiser. And Taylor has Vic, oh, but Vic with the elbows to those ribs. Right to the ribs of the Iron Taylor. Vic Cruiser with an A. Whoa, whoa, what the hell? A, a heel hook? Vic's trying to go for a submission? Vic, that's not a smart idea. This is the last man standing, not a submission matchup. Taylor went for something, he's caught by Cruiser. Cruiser is tossing him around. And now the count begins. Taylor gets up at the count of four. Ryan says him and his cousin will dominate the tag division. I don't think he will. I mean, we have pretty dominant tag team champions. Taylor's down again, courtesy of Vic Bruiser. Six count to Taylor. Taylor's getting back up again. Vic Cruiser though throws him in the corner. Vic with a close line. Vic, what is this? Off the ropes, close line. Oh, he missed it. Vic went for a lariat, but he missed it. Taylor ducked it. And here comes Taylor. Shots by Taylor on Cruiser. Taylor firing off with these punches. Taylor. Big shot there on Cruiser. Places to get on with it. Blake, shut the hell up. Vic though counters, but a big counter by Taylor, the kick to the head. Taylor off the ropes, dropped hold. Vic is bleeding. Vic Cruiser's been busted open by the Iron Taylor. Taylor's going for the pile driver. Can he hit it on Cruiser? Oh, wait a minute. No, he can't. Vic counters. Vic counters the pile driver of Taylor. And Vic attacking Taylor. He's not even letting the referee count. He's just beating on Taylor. Oh no, oh no, Taylor. Wait a minute, is he going for sweet chin music? Vic Cruiser going for sweet chin music? No, he kicks him. Double water hook DDT. Vic Cruiser. With a kick to the knee of the Iron Taylor and a double water hook DDT, and here we go. 
Oh, this is not good for Taylor. Oh, but Vic just broke the count. Vic Cruiser said, no, I want to do this even more. Vic didn't care about the count. He just want to keep beating up on Taylor. Here he the count of four. Taylor might be out. Here's our count, here we go, seven. Uh-oh, Taylor, you better get up. Taylor better get up. He's in the count of nine. Oh my God, Vic just won. Oh my God, Vic Cruiser just beat the Iron Taylor. Vic Cruiser has just beat Iron Taylor. Vic Cruiser with that. It, he went for, he was thinking switch and music and Taylor went to block up high. Vic kicked him in the knee, hits him with a double under hook DDT. The next thing you know, what happens? He uppercuts him and gets the, and wow. Vic Cruiser's gonna face GX3 later tonight for the world championship title. What the hell? But uh, Vic Cruiser has bragging rights. He just beat the Iron Taylor, but uh, he didn't thank the society for that reason of why he beat the Iron Taylor tonight. But Vic's just going to tell you it's another win for the Cruiser. But wow, Iron Taylor falls to Vic Cruiser, but... Uh, Taylor did get beaten up before the matchup, thanks to the uh, society. Taylor saying the society won the match, not Vic. Well, you try to fight back, but uh, Vic was uh, countering your big moves. I mean, you went for that pile driver, and who knows what would have happened if you would have hit that pile driver. But Vic did counter that pile driver. So Vic Cruiser later tonight in our main event will face GX3 for the World Championship title with, with uh, the Assistant General Manager and one of Anoki's chairman, Ricky Choshu, as the referee. And Choshu's gonna call the match right down the middle. So at least we have a fair official in our main event tonight. But uh, here we go, it's Katsuri Shibata versus Malachi Avroff. This is for the International Championship title. And so far, the champions tonight have done absolutely jack-all. So far, the champions are 0 for 2 when it comes to retaining the championships. Counter from Katsuyori Shibata. Shibata throws him to the corner. Shibata with a boot in the corner. Blaze laughing it up that Vic Cruiser defeated the Iron Taylor. Cover Malachi Admiral for the win. Nope. Right now Malachi's in control. And ooh, that's a shot to the back. And down to the floor goes Shibata, and this match will go to the outside. Blaze says Vic, he has respect for him now because he beat Taylor. And right now, Shibata's thrown head first off the apron of the ring. And counter though by Shibata. Shibata's going back in. And oh, a Donald stretch here for Malachi Abroff. Way to counter though by Katsuyori Shibata. That's a beautiful counter from Shibata. Went for a knee lift, but he missed it. Right, says if Taylor's that easy to beat, he's going to challenge him for the title. And shot to the back though by uh, Malachi Abroff, right to the back of Katsuyori Shibata. What the hell is this? Nice front slam though by Malachi, but Shibata's right back to his feet. Good, good arms right there. Beautiful shots though by Tatsuori Shibata. 
Top rope, Shibata with a diving missile drop kick. That was beautiful. He attacks the arm. And Shibata with a knee on the, on the floor. A nice knee to the arm there. And back into the ring. Shibata, they're getting the fans back on his side. Taylor's saying he wants a rematch with Bruiser. You know that Vic's gonna try to get a match with that Shockwave title, knowing Vic. Shibata with the arm here. Malachi better be uh, careful, that arm might get pulled out of the socket. Oh, Shibata, no. Counter the Malachi. Malachi Abroth. Nice spin out power bomb for Malachi. Malachi, here's a pin to retain his championship. Oh, Shibata, though, kicked out. Shibata able to kick out. And uh oh, Malachi's got Shibata up Death Valley driver. Got him. Cover. And he does it. Malachi Abroff is able to retain his championship. So Corey Crichton, he lost his title, but Malachi retains his. That Death Valley driver from Malachi Abroff gets the gets the win tonight over Katsuer Shibata. He retains his international championship over Katsuyori Shibata. So I guess that kind of backfired on Corey Crichton a little bit. Oh, here you go. The Society versus the, the Trios champs right here. This is, this is the Society's uh, first match here. The question will be, can the Society defeat the Trios champs? They called out these boys. Taylor attacking Vic. I mean, Vic's match is not to the main event, and there's still another four or five matches to go until that main event scene. So you never know. Vic might be able to actually recover from that. Blaze saying that Dory fun sheet in her match. Shut up, Blaze. But here, Dory's going after, uh, I want to say, Kyle Hammer. Yep, Kyle Hammer, you got uh, Jackson Banks and Ryan Wolf and Terry Funk as well. But uh, Dory and Terry Funk have been absolutely dominating the, ta the tag team scene here. I mean, those boys are both the tag team champions and two thirds of the trio's champions. They'll find out their next challengers tonight in our next matchup as the next match will be a four way tornado tag team match with the winners of the matchup. We'll face off with, with the Funks and the main event of our next episode, of our next episode, which will be tomorrow. Oh, wow. You just actually missed, the, you actually just missed um, Vic Cruiser versus Iron Taylor there, Shockwave. You actually just missed Vic versus Taylor. Yeah, you missed Vic versus Taylor already. And Vic Cruiser won. Vic Cruiser beat the Iron Taylor. Well, that was also with help from the Society, so Vic Cruiser got some help from the Society to beat the Iron Taylor. And so Vic Cruiser will face GX3 in our main event for the World Championship title. Running Wolf going after Terry Funk. Big spine buster from Running Wolf. Oh, Running Wolf though, the submission on Dory Funk Jr. And knee lift there from Terry. Funks are beating up on Running Wolf. 
Vic Cruiser saying the society can go to hell, but the society were the guys that helped and beat the Iron Taylor tonight. I mean, yeah, Vic Cruiser was the one who automatically got the win anyway. I mean, he beat Taylor with like, he faked him out with, with pretending Vic was going for sweet chin music, but instead he kicked Taylor in the knee and would hit Taylor with a double underhook DDT and then uppercut him. That's what got Vic the uh, win in, in the last man standing match. So despite Vic Cruiser saying that the society can go to hell, uh, the society helped him win because really, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. Oh, Running Wolf goes on the end, Terry Funk. Terry Funk's in trouble. Running Wolf for the Mishinoku driver. Will that get the win tonight? No, not Terry Funk. Terry Funk has just kicked out of the Mishinoku driver for Running Wolf. Dory kick out, Chaz with a big move there, but a break up from Terry Funk. Terry and Dory have absolutely dominated the tag team scene here. They have not lost a match since these two have tag teamed together and won the tag team titles from Booster and Hanare. Oh wow, nice drop kick from, from uh, Jackson Banks. Chaz going after Terry, but he can't. Vic saying, yeah, they sent me separate dog's heads last night. He said he had no choice but set their help or the due to his dog. Well, look what happened. The society helped Vic out in their matchup against the Iron Taylor. And it got Vic the win. And not only that, Vic Cruiser later tonight could become MUW world champion if he beats GX3. So the wrestling, the wrestling, the wrestling idiocy that is Vic Cruiser being MOW World Champion would be insane. Oh wait a minute, Dory, Dory spinning toe hold, Dory Funk Jr. with a spinning toe hold on, uh, I believe that's Kyle Hammer. We got cover, Dory Funk Jr. to win the match, Dory. Oh no, and a kick out from Kyle Hammer. Oh, Jackson though. Jackson Banks is a guillotine locked in. Running Wolf trying to escape the guillotine, he's able to. And look at Terry Funk. Nice suplex there, cover on Running Wolf for the win. No, another kick out. Up to the top rope, Terry Funk. Wow, what a moonsault. Terry Funk, what a beautiful move. Jackson takes that in the arm. Terry Funk, cover from Jackson Banks. Here's a cover to win the match. No, oh, Jax kicks out of the moonsault from Terry Funk. A choke here from Terry. That's a nice suplex there by Jackson Banks. The match was mainly all the society, but uh, the Funks and Jackson Banks have taken this match over. Nice shot from Dory. Dory Foot Jr. Bulldog. Terry with a neck breaker. Cover Jackson Banks to win the match. No. Kyle Hammer's able to kick out. But this could be the end pretty soon for the society. Dory getting back in the ring. Here comes Chaz. Oh, the referee got punched by Jackson Banks. That's going to be a mistake. But Terry, oh, Dory Funk Jr.'s got a sleeper hole. Dory Funk Jr., is he going to make him tap? No, he won't. No tapping out here tonight for the society. And look out here, Kyle Hammer. Drills him. That could do it. And they get the pin on Dory Funt Jr. Dory Funt Jr. is out of it right now. 
Of a running Wolf going for another driver. He hit him on before, and there it is again. Cover running Wolf on Terry Funk. And that will do it. The Society has just beaten the Funks and Jackson Banks. The Society comes in here, challenges the Funks and Jackson Banks, and they get the win tonight. Pinning Terry Funk off a of Mishinoku driver was running Wolf. And it looks to be the Society might be getting a shot at those trios championships. Well, hold on here. The Society gets the win tonight over the Funts and Jackson Banks. And now the four-way tag team tornado matchup. The winners of this match will face the Funks for those tag team titles actually at the pay-per-view, not the next episode. We have Riot and Michael Blaze. We got the Wolf Pack. We have Suzuki Dune and Juice and Thunder Liger. Is that Hayabusa? Yeah, that's Hayabusa. That's Hayabusa, so Juice and Thunder Liger got Hayabusa with him tonight. That's, a, that's great to see a legend like Hayabusa. Taylor trying to get the Society to take out Vic Cruiser. Yeah, I'm shocked that uh, Hayabusa's here. I didn't know that that was Liger's surprise. So I guess Juice and Thunder Liger's surprise was bringing Hayabusa here tonight. But yeah, this is the first time that we're seeing a riot in the ring. Let's see if Riot can actually back up those trash talks that he keeps talking about. Or is he a failure like his bro like his cousin is? Because we all know how terrible of a wrestler Michael Blaze is. Nice move from Hayabusa. Nice shot though by Hayabusa on Minoru Suzuki. Look at Juice and Thunder Liger going after the leg of Yoshiro Takayama. Vic saying he's got a text message of a cabin burning. Oh, oh, there's a cabin of his that's burning in Canada. Well, that's not good for Bruiser. Nice move by Liger. But I don't think Vic cares about the cabin because if he wins the world championship tonight, can you imagine what Vic Bruiser is going to do if he wins the MUOW world title tonight? Vic Cruiser, I bet if Vic Cruiser wins the MUOW title tonight, the first thing that's going to happen on Shockwave on Thursday is that Vic Cruiser is going to be prancing and celebrating and dancing all around the ring. Michael Blaze going after Hayabusa here. And Hayabusa is dropped with a hurricane runner from Blaze, but with that rolling shot there from Juice and Thunder Liger. And Liger remembers what Michael Blaze did to him a few months ago when Michael Blaze stole the mask of Juice and Thunder Liger. After Blaze defeated Liger due to putting his feet on the ropes. And so Blaze would steal the mask of Juice and Thunder Liger. And now Liger has went from the plastic red and yellow to the black and gold. Covering a high boost to Bon Lorenzo and a, and a kick out. Oh my god, Takiyama, what a, what a move there. Right with an evil back of the head there of Lorenzo. Oh, Blaze versus Suzuki. Oh, Blaze is screwed. Yeah, Blaze is screwed. Blaze is in trouble. Minoru Suzuki's got the choke. Suzuki's got a choke, but it's broken up from Riot, and he just ate a clothesline in the back of his head. <laughs> See, Riot, that's what happens when you get into business that's not your own. You get clothesline in the back of your head. Nice toss from Takayama. 
And now we have Takayama and Lorenzo, but what a kick from Juice and Thunder Liger. Liger going after uh, Lorenzo here. Liger, can we send him for a brain buster on Takayama? And no, Takayama says no. And oh, it's off the ball. Breaks the back of the way. Ooh, the referee gets bumped into there. And now kicks to that chest there, Takayama. Juice and Thunder, a Liger going for a Liger bomb. And he connects the Liger bomb in a break up there. Vic Cruiser, he just got a text message that says, drop GX3, where Leah Moriarty gets a permanent vacation in the bottom of the lake. Ooh. So Vic Cruiser just got a big task if he needs to win or he loses his girlfriend. Michael Blaze, a cover, and a kick out though by Suzuki. I was gonna say, when will Blaze ever just beat anyone fair? Blaze, nice move there, nice shot by Riot. Here's a cover on Wolfchild, and a break up by Takayama. Takayama going after Michael Blaze here. Liger going after the knee here. Juice and Thunder Liger, what is this here? Submission, Juice and Thunder Liger, is he going to make Wolfchild tap out? We know he's going to, oh, he's transitioning into a choke. Liger with a choke. And big time German suplex by. Oh wait, cover Hayabusa. Hayabusa for the win and a break up by Takayama. Oh wow, what a shot from, from um, Riot, but Riot is too stupid. Riot has a cover available if he doesn't go for it because he has stupid as a doorknob. I have any tips on streaming? Okay. Um, I just, just be yourself. That's kind of my tip. Just kind of be yourself. Don't rush things. Oh, boom by A. Don't, you know, don't rush things and stuff like that. But uh, boom by A on Hayabusa on Hayabusa kicks out. Yeah, just take things at your own pace. Don't rush things. Don't, don't overwork yourself. That type of thing. Wolfchild went for Bumbaye again and he missed. Strong Bay, take responsibility for your actions there, Vic, says Taylor. Good shot there from Wolfchild, but is back to his feet. Hayabusa throws Wolfchild off the top, and oh, he just dropped Michael Blaze. Nice light drop from Hayabusa. Here comes Minoru Suzuki. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no. Suzuki! Pile driver, Gox style, pile driver, Minoru Suzuki for the win in a breakup. A big time breakup from, from Liger on Suzuki. You look at Suzuki and Liger. Suzuki throws Liger in the corner. Kicks that leg. Hayabusa though, he's fired up. What the hell was that by Blaze? Blaze and Wright, the only team that are not in the ring right now. Hayabusa, Falcon Arrow. A Falcon Arrow from Hayabusa. Hayabusa for the win. Oh, and Wolfchild kicks out somehow. Oh, super kick. A super kick on Hayabusa. And a kick out from Liger. But Hayabusa's down and out from a super kick from Riot. But he can't go for the pin because he's too stupid. Oh, Bumbaye on Lorenz, on Liger here. Hayabusa in trouble, big slam from Lorenzo. Wolfchild, poor Buster. Again, is Riot stupid? He's had opportunities where he'd go for the pin, but he's too stupid. There goes Suzuki to the floor. Here comes Liger. Juice and Thunder Liger. He misses that kick. Michael Blaze is back to his feet. He's going after Hayabusa. But Blaze misses like an idiot. Hayabusa. Down to the floor here. Cover Lorenzo. Lorenzo for the win. And he got him. 
So Lorenzo gets the pin on Juice and Thunder Liger. It's going to be uh, the Wolf Pack versus the Funks for the Tag Team Championships at a later date. So a, a big win there for Lorenzo and Wolf Childs. They get the win tonight to face the, uh, get a shot at the Funk Brothers for those Tag Team Championship titles. Riot's blaming his cousin. Really, Blaze should be blaming his cousin because Riot had three different opportunities to go for a pin, but he didn't go for it. So really the loss is, uh, it's Riot's fault because Riot is too much of an idiot. Next up, TV Championship is on the line. Gabe Kidd, Marlon Starks, and the champion, Blake Christian. And then after this, it's Joe Kenny versus Denitro Tenru, which that's a huge match. But uh, here we go, it's going to be Gabe Kidd, Starks, and Christian. And there's Gabe Kidd, Blaze's worst nightmare. He's coming out to the arena trying to win the television championship. Gabe Kidd got the opportunity by pinning Blake Christian on the last episode. Get this opportunity, it's Blake Christian. But uh, Marlon Starks is also in this match, courtesy of him defeating Gabe Kidd on an episode in MSW. And it felt like all, both Gabe Kidd and Marlon Starks felt like they deserved a shot the television championship. And uh, Anoki, before Anoki got injured, he said, you know what, screw it, both of you can have a shot at the title at the same time. And there's Marlon Starks. Blay is saying that now we have to watch Gabe Kidd Thanks a lot, Riot, and Blaze just slapped his cousin. And I mean, it makes sense because Riot actually kind of was the more of a, an idiot in that match than Michael Blaze. And now the leg breaker, Marlon Starks, a member of the real MSW, going to the ring to try to win the television championship. We already have one rookie won a championship earlier tonight in Eric Demon and when he defeated Lance Archer and now Starks could win. Blaze is saying that I'm an idiot? No, Blaze, your cousin and you are. Really, Blaze's whole family's an idiot. So there's the champ, Blake Christian. He's already, he's already retained the title once before when he uh, defeated the former champion Yoshiro, uh, Yoshinobu Karamaru to retain the title on a house show. Let's see if the champion can retain it here tonight in, in odds that do not favor him. And another crazy fact about this match is that all three of the members in the ring tonight are all under 30 years old. They're kind of like the future of wrestling. An aero triple threat matchup, television championship on the line, and then after this is a huge match. Joe Kenny, Denitro Tenru is after this. And that's gonna be a massively great matchup. So there's Styles. So yeah, Styles is able to I was able to fix my audio microphone. You did miss uh, a nice amount of the matches here. Just to give a recap on what you missed. You had Eric Demon beat Lance Archer for the hybrid title. You had Corey Crichton lose the Immortal Championship to Hiroshi Hashe. You had Vic Cruiser beating Iron Taylor in a last man standing match, which means the main event tonight will be uh, Vic Cruiser GX3 for the world title. You had Malachi Abramoff retain his international title against Katsuri Shibata. 
You had the Society beat Jackson Banks and the Funks to win. You had, and then in our last match, you had the Wolf Pack, Lorenzo and Wolfchild. They beat Juice and Thunder Liger and Hayabusa. They also were able to beat Suzuki Noon, and they beat Ryan and Michael Blaze. Blaze is you job. What are you talking about, Blaze? These are all guys that beat you before. And two, you lost tonight. You lost a tag team match with your cousin. Well, that was mainly because your cousin is an idiot. Again, another reason why I don't go anywhere near Michael Blaze. Because his whole family sucks. Champ in trouble, good counter from the champ, Blake Christian. Blaze is okay, and well, you lost because you're an idiot and your cousin is an idiot. I mean, yeah, you guys didn't get pinned. It was uh, Liger that got pinned by Lorenzo. Blaze's his family doesn't suck. Yes, they do. You're the worst of your family because you keep losing all the time. Your cousin sucks. Your mother sucks as well, which, by the way, no joke there. Your dad, uh, well, again, we have never seen your dad before, Blaze. Your sister sucks as well. No joke there, by the way. What the hell is this? Oh, STO Russian Light Sweep by Gabe Kidd and Blake Christian on Marlon Starks. Look at Gabe Kidd with a head bump. That would really be a slap in the face to Michael Blaze and his cousin if Gabe Kidd wins tonight. If Gabe Kidd wins tonight and wins that TV title, that's going to be a slap in the face to Blaze because Blaze hates Gabe Kidd. Blaze has never really beaten Gabe Kidd one on one before. He's lost him 11 straight times. Kind of good breakup by the by the champion Blake Christian. Blake Christian with Gabe Kidd in the corner. He's going for the rolling Death Valley driver. He connects. Cover on Gabe to retain and a break up there. Oh, that's a kick. That's definitely a kick for Marlon Starks. Starks. Places people are thinking he's joked about his real name. Oh yeah, and what's the real name? Stupidity? Nice shot there from Gabe Kidd. Gabe Kidd throws him in the corner. Marlin in trouble, big shot in the corner from Gabe Kidd. But look out, Blake Christian with a steel chair. Oh, he missed it, oh, he gets dropped. Blake says his real name is Clarence, I don't believe that. I don't believe that, Blake. Right now, Blake Christian has gave him the corner. Oh, missile drop kick. Missile drop kick in the corner, but wait, Blake Christian's in trouble. Marlon Starks. Bang. There's the kick from Marlon Starks. Will that be enough for the TV championship? No, it is not enough. The kick out, Blake Christian. Blake Christian stays alive, but wait a minute, counter by Marlon Starks. Counter from Gabe Kidd. Blaze, I don't believe that. Blaze trying to tell me what he believes his real name is, which I don't believe that. Because Blaze's real name is a loser. Nice counter though, nice shot there from Blake. Oh, but wait, oh, a kendo stick. Kendo sticks from Marlon Starks. Just bashing it right on Gabe Kidd and Blake Christian. Wait a minute, wait a minute here, we got covered by Marlon on Gabe Kidd. And no kick out from Gabe Kidd. Smart idea though by the champion to roll out of the ring. Good shot from Marlon Starks. Counter though by Gabe Kidd. Gabe Kidd trying to go to the ropes, but he's caught with an neck breaker. Oh, headlock punch. Oh, and Marlon's busted open. Marlon Starks has been busted open by Blake Christian. There's a pump forearm. Nice elbow there from Blake Christian. Blake Christian, is he going for the stomp out of the corner? He is. If he hits this, he could retain. Step up, curve stomp. And 
and Marlon breaks it up. Oh, Marlon though misses. Nice job by Blake Christian to roll out of the way. The champion in control here against his two challengers. Blake talking smack. Gabe Kidd in the corner. I don't know what he's doing. Blake kicks him in the leg here. Blake Christian. Ripcord, no stop by Marlon. Counter from Gabe Kidd. Gabe Kidd off the ropes. Kidd, shoulder tackle. And a boot to the head of the champion. Blake rolls out of the ring. Oh, no. Chair shot right to the... Oh, wait, Blake Christian on the chair. Let dead fall for break up. And Blaze is shoved to fan. Blaze, can you take your sore loserness outside of the ring, outside of the damn arena, please? Okay, Blaze, can you be, can you don't be a sore loser somewhere else? Marlon has Blake on the ropes, counter from Blake Christian. Blaze says never. Okay, Blaze, well, you're getting kicked out of the arena. Ricky Choshu was telling Michael Blaze you're getting kicked out of the arena. Oh, what is this? Double DDT to the chair. Double DDT to the chair by Marlon and Blake Christian. And tilt for a backbreaker. The champ's in trouble. Blaze says you can't do that. Uh, yes, Ricky Choshu can, because Ricky Choshu is a uh, is assistant general manager. Oh, wait a minute. Brain buster to the chair. A brain buster, a steel chair, and oh, the referee is down. The referee is down. Again, Blaze is trying to fight the fans, and Blaze will have to get out of the arena, or else he's going to get fired. Because Blaze has technically just been uh, thrown out of the arena, but if he doesn't leave, he's going to get fired. Blake Christian's out. Blake Christian's definitely out of it from that brain buster from Gabe Kidd. Here's a head bump to the back. Gabe, counter from Marlon. Oh no, the shot to the leg. That running drop kick right to that leg of Gabe Kidd. And no, Gabe kicks out. Gabe is still alive, but how much? Oh no, the punt. Punt to the leg. Cover. And Marlon starts this, do it? Marlon Starfs, your new television champion. That running punt to the legs gets the win for Marlon Starks. So the light breaker has a, has a championship now in his, in his collection. And someone that I know is really happy about this outcome is Bobby Sixkiller. Bobby Sixkiller had a terrible night last night on MSW. We lost when his uh, faction lost a lot of their championship titles, except for Brody Williams and one more other title. But he just got another title added to his faction in the in the MEOW television title. Oh, here's a big one though. Joe Kenny, Genichiro Tenru. And Joe Kenny beat Genichiro Tenru. It's going to be a fight, though, for Kenny. Kenny will have to dig down deep if he wants to beat Genichiro Tenru because Tenru is a... He's a tough cookie. He's a very tough cookie. Well, I'd say he's more than just a cookie. He's freaking Genichiro Tenru. What do you expect? It's going to be tougher than a cookie. But Blaze is saying that he quits. Oh, wow. Look at this, everyone. Blaze is quitting because he's a baby. But here we go. Kenny Tenru, the winner of this, will face the world champion in our next pay-per-view, which will probably be in a couple weeks. I think we got like two or three more episodes to go. Yeah, I figured Blaze was lying there about quitting, because Blaze always lies. But here's Joe Kenny. Kenny, uh, no, we don't care about just cheap viewers. Go away. But uh, Joe Kenny fought Jake Lee on Sunday on MSW and actually lost to Jake Lee. Jake Lee defeated Joe Kenny in a huge win for Jake Lee. 
Blaze says, where's Booster? He needs to slam. Uh, Booster's actually not here tonight. Yeah, Booster's actually not here tonight because he's not on the card. Well, there's Kenny. I haven't seen Kenny here in a long time, but he's at least back here. And he's facing one hell of an opponent. I'll definitely say that. There's Genichiro Tenru. Uh, Antonio no one of Antonio Noki's chairman of this company. Plus, Tenru is both head of security and the enforcer of Antonio Noki. And Noki, of course, is not on this tour, courtesy of the attack from Devin the Bandit and the match he had with Terminus back on Shockwave on Thursday, which was an absolute hell of a match to watch, and it was insane. Let's see if Tenru, though, can beat Joe Kenny. Blaze says he should be the general manager so he can fire everyone. No, you can't, Blaze. Because you don't have any experience when it comes to uh, managing a company. But here we go. Kenny versus Tenru. This is for an uh, interesting matchup here. This is kind of a first-time matchup. You think about it. Oh, and our clothesline early on from the Thunder Crasher. You need to Tenru, and Tenru just tossing Joe Kenny around. And look at this, Kenny trying to fight back against Tenru. Kenny putting Tenru into the ropes here. Bit knees here. Blaze says he's going to attack the winner because he's a jackass. <laughs> Nice boot though, and there goes there goes Tenru to the floor. And here's Ted Rockpage. Big telling that he's gonna cheap blaze like a janitor. There's Rockpage here for the semi-main event. So he's watching Joe Kenny versus Nitro Tenru. Winner of this will get the Nets World title shot at the pay-per-view. And oh no, Tenru from behind with a suicide dive. Good God, who would have thought a man the size of Tenru would be doing that? Oh, no. The side suplex on the floor by Genichiro. Tenru and a layer to the back of the head. Right now, Tenru is beating up Joe Kenny here on the outside of the ring. And a suplex on the floor. Kenny, though, fighting spirit back to his feet. But uh, Kenny's taking some hard shots from Tenru. Oh my God, another dive. Tenru with another dive to the floor on Joe Kenny. Who would have thought that Genichiro Tenru, him having the advantage here in speed. Ooh, that's gonna hurt though. Tenru went for a power bomb and Kenny countered. Joe Kenny throws Tenru back in the ring. Referee had to move out of the way there. Tenru, gun wrench counter though by Kenny, nice counter. Rock Page is talking about he wants to rebrand. And, oh, what is this here by Tenor? This does not look good for Kenny. This is not looking good for Joe Kenny. Kenny thrown through the middle rope. Kenny's in trouble. Oh, no. Oh, a kick to the, oh, he's going for a power bomb on the floor. Oh, no, he isn't. Oh, and an apron power bomb to Joe Kenny by Tenru. Tenru showing no remorse for Joe Kenny tonight. Look at this flexing right now is the one third of the chairman of MUOW. Throw back to the rain is Kenny, and Kenny's hurting. You can tell that Kenny's hurt. Tenru, though, eats a bit cutter from Kenny. My question is, how is the back of Joe Kenny? That back of Kenny has been thrown around for most of the matchup. Here's a cover on Tenru. And a kick out at two from Tenru. Kenny, going to fight back against Nitro Tenru. Belly to belly suplex. Back up is Tenru. Kenny, duck under. Joe Kenny gets popped with an elbow. Tenru and Kenny, they'll bump into each other. Oh no, Kenny's in trod. Northrend lights bomb. 
The Northern Lights bomb on Joe Kenny, and Kenny kicks out. But how much longer, though, does Kenny have left the tank? He might be in here. Tenru, no, he missed. Kenny counters. Big saying he paid Nitro Tenru a lot to handle Joe Kenny. But Kenny's hurting, but so is Tenru. We got a claw. We got a claw locked in. Is Kenny going to make Tenru give up? Oh, but Tenru's getting right out of it. Oh. Yeah, I'll see maybe if I'm available to do that. I'm not too sure, but we'll find out. Oh, a second claw. A second claw on Dinitro Tenru, and look at this, Tenru's again fighting right out of that claw. It's like those claws have barely any effects to Tenru. Tenru, though, picking up Kenny. Kenny's in trouble again, and he's dropped off the top rope. Good counter, though, by Kenny on Tenru. Tenru. Get thrown in the corner by Kenny. Joe, exploder suplex. Right in that corner. Tenru in the corner now. Kenny. Oh, oh no, he got caught in the ribs with a kick by Dinichiro Tenru. That did not look good. Oh, and there's a chop. Tenru says, all right, it's over. Oh, coming blow to the back of Tenru. By Tenru, right to the arm. Oh, right to the arm. Kenny's in trouble. Kenny's in trouble. Al you battle in the corner. And this could be it pretty soon for Joe Kenny. Because very soon we might be seeing a 53 Psy or a power bomb from Dinitro Tenru. Ooh, body slam. Big time body slam. And now Kenny rolls out of the ring. These two, though, but damn it, they're all. Look at Tenru saying to Joe Kenny, bring it on. These two don't care. Vic Cruz are saying for uh, Ted Rothpage to join the real MSW. I don't know if Rothpage wants to do that. Because he'll be going, you know, he'll be going against the fans if he does that. Tenru, pop, counters Kenny. And he's got to be careful because Tenru can hit that 53 Psy or the power bomb out of nowhere. And he's done it on many of people. Blaze is a zip your mouth, Vic. Shut up, Blaze. And ow! Knee drop to the arm. And this could be the beginning of the end. Oh, yeah, it's definitely the beginning of the end here. 53 Psy! 53 Psy by Genichiro Tenru. That might be it for Joe Kenny. That might be the end of the match right there. No, Kenny kicks out. Fixes, uh, you and what army's gonna make me blaze, your boy toy, uh, Riot? More so like his idiot cousin. Duck under, Kenny trying to fight back. Kenny belly up, belly on Tenru. But Kenny's still a bit robbled from that 53 side. He's got the power though. Good shot by Kenny out of the corner. Kenny trying to take out Tenru. Shot to the arm. Joe, lift the arm here. Places his fans. Blaze doesn't have fans. When does he ever think he has fans? Kenny going for a screw fly solution. Drills him with it. Screw fly solution on Tenru. He hit Tenru with it. No, it's not enough, though. It's not enough to beat Dinitro Tenru. No screw fly solution victory for Joe Kenny there. And oh, an axe handle to the back. Kenny throws Tenru back in the ring. Kenny could be trying to go for the win here, but he's taunting on the apron on the ring like an idiot. That's not a good idea to do that to Tenru. There's a shot to the back of the way. Kenny, where's Kenny going? He's going up top, what the hell? 
Joe Kenny, top rope. Oh, and he misses the knee drop off the top. Ouch. That's got to hurt. Now taking out the head of Tenru here. Tenru, though, blocking Kenny. Inichiro Tenru, countered by Kenny. Big clothesline. Oh, no, but a kick to the head. That's going to hurt. A kick by Tenru. Kenny, oh, there's the Instaguri. There's that Instaguri. That has knocked out people before. And oh, it doesn't knock out Kenny tonight. Oh, God. That's a kick to the face if I've ever seen one. That's a kick right to Kenny's head. Kenny's in trouble. Kenny's in big trouble. Down goes Kenny off the ropes. Covered by Tenru. And that will do it. Genichiro Tenru beats Joe Kenny. Now give Kenny his props. He fought hard, he fought tough, he fought well. But Genichiro Tenru with that knockout insecurity to the back of his head, picks him up, snake eyes off the ropes. And he beats Joe Kenny, and that means Nitro Tenru will get the next world title match against the winner of tonight's main event. But Nitro Tenru defeats Joe Kenny. And he might be a little bit more richer now, courtesy of that bounty from Vic and Six Killer. And we have reached our main event, folks. This is a main event that I'm scared about. Uh, definitely a main event that I'm scared about. I don't know what's going to happen tonight. Blaze is trying to go after Genichiro Tenru, though. But Tenru catches Michael Blaze and he hits him with a power bomb. Thanks, Blaze, for being such an idiot. But here we go. It's Vic Cruiser, GX3. World Championship is on the line. Ricky Choshu is your special guest referee for the matchup. But let's see if Vic Cruiser can become world champion. It'd be a scary day in hell if Michael, if Vic Cruiser walks out of here tonight with the world title. I don't think anyone will be able to hear the end of it. Or I don't think GX3 will hear the end of it if Vic Cruiser walks out of tonight with the world championship. Let's see here if Vic Cruiser can win tonight. Oh, wait. First up, though, special guest referee. It is Ricky Choshu, who is the uh, assistant general manager for when Inoki's not here, which he's not here tonight. So he's taking over duties of being the general manager tonight and owner. And he'll be the referee of this matchup. And knowing Cho, she's doing a referee of this match pretty fair. But here comes Vic Cruiser. He beat the Iron Taylor earlier tonight with, in a last man standing match to get this matchup against GX3 in our main event. So let's see if Vic Cruiser can walk out of here at that world championship uh, you know, with, on his waist or on his shoulders. And he's been threatened by the society that if you don't win tonight, Vic Cruiser, we're going to burn down your cabin with your girlfriend in it. Let's see here. But Vic Cruiser, though, is facing a very tough champion. He's facing a, a champion who's a great wrestler, Recruited by Anoki to here. He beat Minoru Suzuki to win this championship. The question will be, can he, be can he beat Vic Cruiser? Taylor couldn't beat Vic Cruiser. But can GX3 beat Vic Cruiser? And here we are. Choshu has your referee. Neither man has a manager at ringside, which is good because I don't think we want people to be ruining, the, ruining this match. 
Place the St. Eus the space door. Play, shut up. And Choshu rings the bell, and here we go. It's Vic Cruiser versus GX3 for the world title. A headbutt early on here to Vic Cruiser. Vicky to German suplex. And a kick out early on by Cruiser. Cruiser in trouble early. And look out here. Oh, big suplex from GX3. GX3 dominating the matchup early on here against Vic Cruiser. Blaze saying for me to shut up. Blaze, you shut up. You're supposed to not even be here anyway. You got kicked out of the arena, so why are you still here? You can get fired for still being here, Blaze. Well, that's GX3 getting out of there. Yeah, Tenru did win. Tenru hit Kenny with an insecurity to the back of the head, and then he hit him with the snake eyes, and that's what got him the win. Yeah, Tenru with that knockout Insigari and then a snake eyes to beat Joe Kenny. Cover by Cruiser. And a kick out. Elbow to the head there. Cover again, Vic Cruiser. And a kick out again, GX3. Vic with the arm of uh, GX3. Smart idea by Vic, attack the arm. So we can't lock in the choke. Cause we, cause who knows if Vic Cruiser can escape a choke hold. Counter though, cover again. And a kick out. Amazing says I hope GX3 crushes Vic Cruiser. Uh oh, uh oh. Fujiwama arm bar, we got an arm bar locked in and uh, Vic escapes, oh he knees him in the head. Vic just needs GX3 right in the head. And Vic has his own submission locked in. GX3 not tapping out though, he's escaping. Oh, but GX3 grabbing his leg. Clothesline to Vic Cruiser. Three big time clotheslines from GX3 on Cruiser. Cruiser eats a kick to the ribs. And look at these kicks here from GX3. Nice shot there by GX3, the world champion. Vic is back. Vic is back to his feet. Catches GX3. And uh oh, GX3 is going to suplex into the ropes. Vic with a knee drop. Vic attacking GX3's arm again. Smart idea, but a good counter from GX3. GX3, oh no, counter by Cruiser, Spear! Spear by Vic Cruiser, oh my god. Vic Cruiser for the championship. No, and a kick out at one. A spear by Vic Cruiser, not enough to beat GX3. Oh, walk out here, Vic's top rope. Vic Cruiser is top rope, oh, diving, double axe handle. Vic Cruiser. And oh my God, Vic Cruiser might do it here, folks. No, a side breaker's caught with a needle ahead by GX3. GX3 though is taunting like an idiot. Oh, it's Seguri. He hit him with it, oh no. Oh, this might do it. Cover. Oh, and a kick out. Oh, that almost, Vic Cruiser was a half a second away. Oh, what go, come on. Vic, what the hell, man? Vic Cruiser attacking Choshu. Vic Cruiser almost won the world championship. Choshu is down, Choshu is hurt. But side suplex there by GX3. Nice shot to the arm of Cruiser here. And GX3 pulling away. Uh, Mr. Amazing trying to get the calls to the RCMP. 
And he's having her time, but they're having her times trying to find the cabin that's going to be put on fire by the society. Look out here. Oh, bitch slam. The rope break. The rope break for Cruiser. As again, the arm is being taken out here by GX3. The champ staying on Vic Cruiser, though. For the sake of more already, Vic has to win. I hate this. this is uh, amazing. Vic is in trouble. There's a choke. We got a choke locked in. Is Vic going to tap out? Vic trying to escape. Vic trying to hang on. Oh, and Vic tapped out. Vic tapped out. Vic Cruiser tapped out. Vic Cruiser tapped out. Vic Cruiser taps to GX3. The champion keeps his title tonight. And I gotta say, you know, give a little bit of credit to Vic Cruiser. He tried. He, he did try. He did, what, he did what he could to try to win the world championship tonight, but uh, it wasn't enough. It, it just was not enough to get the win over the world champion. The world champion retains tonight over GX3, uh, over Vic Cruiser. And so the big match for the next pay-per-view is going to be GX3 defending against Denitro Tenru. And you know what? You know what? I'll give Vic his credit. You know what? I'll give Vic Cruiser his dues. He tried. He tried, and he certainly tried. He, he tried out. You know, he did what he could. And in the end, it just was not enough. Sadly, it was not enough. Blaze is asking for... Um, G uh, GX3 give him a title shot? No, of course not. It's Michael Blaze. Why do we give him a title shot? Mason says, you piece of crap, GX3. You're going to be targeted by those who care for Leon Moriarty. Oh, well, wait a minute. Genichiro Tenru is coming down to the ring here. Tenru and GX3 are having a stare down. Mason still talking garbage to GX3. About it. Wait a minute, Mr. Amazing's getting attacked by the society. Amazing's getting attacked by the society. As Tenru and GX3 are talking, and Tenru said to GX3, he, he just said to GX3, Tenru says, you know what, let's forget about the pay-per-view. How about we put the title on the line right here, right now. Bring a referee out here, and we will fight for the title right here, right now. And GX3 is going to accept it, so I guess we're going to have an extra world title match. We're going to have an extra title match tonight. It's going to be Denitro Tenru versus GX3 in an extra title match. And Vic saying for GX3, that Vic is saying, GX3, why? I told you for the match that Leia was counting on you. Well, guess what? <laughs> it's just going more than just Leia counting on him now. Because he's defending the title again tonight. 
against, the, against Genichiro Tenru. Tenru wanted his title shot right here, right now. And he's going to get it right here, right now. Well, let's see here if Tenru is going to walk out of tonight with the world championship, or is GX3 going to retain his world championship for a second time tonight? Tenru beat Joe Kenny. GX3, of course, beat Vic Cruiser. And oh no, already double underhook DDT, my God. What a brutal move already by Tenru. And not enough though. Tenru throwing GX3 to the apron of the ring. Here's my question. If Genichiro Tenru wins the world championship tonight and beats GX3, what is Vic Cruiser gonna do to GX3 after the match. Oh my God, oh, side suplex. That's the same one he hit on Kenny earlier tonight. Tenru is saying for GX3, oh, he bows to him. Okay, he bowed to GX3. So some respect there by Tenru to GX3. Wait a minute here, Tenru though, firing off forearms right to GX3. And look at Tenru though, Tenru, pile driver, no way. Oh my God. Jesus God, a pile driver by Genichiro Tenru, that was brutal folks. That was, that was a nasty pile driver by Genichiro Tenru, and Tenru's just beating down the world champion. There's Devin. Devin, you are here for the main event. Well, this is an extra main event, actually, because, uh, to put it lightly, Vic Cruiser beat the Iron Taylor earlier in the show in the last man standing match. And then in our main event, Vic Cruiser lost to GX3. Plus, Genichiro Tenru beat Joe Kenny, got a world title shot, and then Tenru, after uh, GX3 retained, Tenru came out and asked GX3 if he could have his world title match tonight. And, well, he's getting it right here, right now. Tenru, though, is just all over him. Vic says he's going to give Tenru 50K to make him, to watch GX3 suffer. And geez, good God, there's the death battle, there's that Northern Lights bomb. And this match might be over quickly. The kick is complete, folding power bomb, Denichiro Tenru. Oh, it's not enough though. It's not enough though. GX3 almost just lost his world championship, but it was close. Oh my God, what a shot with the chop there by Tenru. Tenru's just been beating the hell out of GX3 here in this match. He might have a new world champion. And his name is Nietzsche Tenru, he might have it. But, oh, if he hits this, it's definitely over. Oh my God, what a splash. Tenru, what a splash. I'm shocked he's not going for the pin. Oh, spins time, springboard there by Tenru. Tenru the cover. We have a new world champion. Genichiro Tenru just won the world title. So Vic's uh, so Vic Cruiser just had his second wish, you know, made tonight. Even though Vic Cruiser did not win the world title, he saw GX3 suffer at the hands of Genichiro Tenru. So one of the men that run this company just won the world championship title. And Vic Cruiser has got to be feeling happy. Uh, Valenza is saying that's his title. No, it's not. Oh, what the hell? Brimstone and Trevor Johnson just came out and just started laying out on GX3. Oh, come on. What the hell is the former members of Hell's End out here for? They're just beating the living crap out of GX3 as Tenru is celebrating too, because I know if Genichiro Tenru would help them out, would help GX3 out, but no. 
Oh, Devin, the Cobra's trying to come out here. The Cobra's trying to come out here and help, but uh, uh, I don't know if it's going to get very far. Oh, now Hell's Gate's here. Oh, no. Hell's Gate. But GX3 and Devin are getting the crap kicked out of them. And here's the thing, the Shooters Club for tonight have been mainly just been laid out. Marcus has been beaten up by the Society. Taylor got beaten up by the Society and lost to Vic. Corey Crichton lost his title tonight. Joe Kenny lost to Denitro Tenru. The Society is based, and plus Jackson Banks and the Funks lost earlier tonight against the Society. But GX3 and Devon are getting that crap kicked out of them right now. And Tendru's not even in the ring anymore. Tendru's already in the back with the World Championship title celebrating. I do not like what's happening to GX3. So he just got put through a table at ringside. And I'm surprised there's no other more people trying to beat up on GX3 because Mr. Amazing cursed out GX3 after GX3 defeated Vic Cruiser. I'm surprised Mr. Amazing's not out here beating the crap out of GX3. And Devin said, wait, oh, what the hell? Devin's joining Trevor Johnson and Alex Brimstone? What the hell, Devin? More of an attack on GX3. Are you joking? Oh, wait, Grim Gory's trying to come out here. Grim Gory's going to try to help GX3 out, but I don't think he's going anywhere. Amazing, yeah, I figured Amazing was getting attacked by the society. This is just a meltdown. This is just a meltdown. We have a new world champion, too. And nothing with Michael Blaze has changed. But wow. What a crazy night tonight this has been. A new world champion. We had Vic Cruiser beat Iron Taylor. Um, and just insanity's implode. Oh, what? Roman Reigns! Oh my god, Roman Reigns is back! And... It's not the bitch Roman Reigns. It's actually the real Roman Reigns. It's the Roman Reigns. That's not a cheap-ass son of a gun like he was with Triple H. This is actually the real Roman Reigns. The Roman Reigns that we like. Roman Reigns is helping Mr. Amazing attack the, the society. Now that's the Roman Reigns that I actually give a damn about. Not some tribal chump or head of the table bullcrap, but the original tribal chief, Roman Reigns. Devin actually wants a microphone. Oh God, what does Devin have to say? What type of bullcrap does Devin have to say after he just turned on everyone? What a night's been tonight. So many new champions. So many new champions tonight. Only, I think, one championship stayed with their current champion, which was Malachi Admiral. Oh, my God. Matt Bennett got put through a damn windshield. Oh, no. And now there's an ambulance on the way. Oh, not Matt Bennett. Oh, Bennett put, got put through a damn windshield. God damn. Poor Matt Bennett, man. Poor Matt Bennett got put through a windshield. Jesus Christ. There's just glass everywhere in the parking lot from that windshield. Poor Bennett, man. He got put through a damn windshield. And oh no, they got, oh, and the society and house torture on the case. Trevor John says, wait, Devin, this isn't one of your stupid plans to return on us later. Devin says, F the fans, F the shooters, and Vic, he's sending a friend to get, he's sending a friend to him. Okay. And he's sending a friend to Vic Cruiser.
Jacoba says no, Trevor. Vince says help is on help is welcome, Devin. My God. And tonight it's just been turning an absolute upside down mayhem. No pun intended, by the way. Insanity imploded. New champions. Crazy results. People almost getting burned to death. And the society being the society. I mean, this has just been a crazy day today, folks. Of course, if you haven't seen the entire show, make sure you be on that. Well, everyone knows that the Cobra is different than the Bandit. But, man alive, I don't know what the hell is going to happen tomorrow because there is an episode planned for tomorrow. But I don't know what the bloody hell is going to happen considering what the hell happened today. And Trevor says he has his eye on Devin. Shockwave says he'll catch what he missed on the replay. But I believe that's just going to be all for today. Make sure you check out tomorrow's episode because tomorrow's main event is going to be a huge match. I believe it might be an eight-man tag, actually, for the main, in the main event. Uh, no, my bad. I messed it up. It's not an eight-man tag. Main event tomorrow is actually going to be the Society versus Jackson Banks and the Funks. So Jackson Banks and the Funks against the Society tomorrow in the main event for the trios championships, plus we have a slew of other matches, like number one contender shots and everything else, and a whole bunch of storyline purposes, but make sure you check that out tomorrow, and make sure if you miss anything today, you check out that on the replay later, and also make sure to, to support your other fellow content creators, like Shockwave Wrestling, Vampiro 712, Devin the Bandit, Chili Styles, Prince Macau, Christopher Hovis, Iron Taylor. Check out all of them. Because it just seems like we all intertwine with each other's product. But um, we'll see you tomorrow forever mayhem destruction happens. <laughs>